Hey everybody, it's Jamie and Kevin here with Our Life Adventures. And today we wanted to take the time to welcome everybody to our channel. Thank you for following and watching along and enjoying the monkeys. And also enjoying probably Kevin's stunts and silliness. <laughs> but we're here just to spread joy on a daily basis and hopefully bring you smiles each day. Hopefully that's our goal and hopefully that's what we're doing. We're just gonna answer some questions today that some of y'all may not know about us, some of y'all may not know about the monkeys, things that just people have been interested in and want to know about Kevin and I, as far as how we got started and who wanted the monkeys and things like that. So just be sure you, <laughs> just be sure you follow along uh, and we're gonna get the monkeys with us so that y'all can watch them play, but we wanted to just do this intro introductory without them swapping my glasses off and all the fun things that they do. One thing we won't do and, and we don't ever do is share where we got them or, or things like that because we don't want to promote people going out and getting monkeys. And that's not because we think we're the only ones that can do it in any way. It's just one of them things to where we're living it, we're experiencing it. So we know what it's like and we wanted this, but there's so many that think they want a monkey and don't understand everything that goes on and everything that needs to be done to make a monkey's life happy as far as living with you in your home. Uh, we're still learning every day, things, challenges that we have to do and fix on a daily basis. But we're actually the ones, this is their house and we're the ones in the cage and they're they're the free ones. <laughs> we're, we're just the people that's living in a cage with monkeys. So that's kind of how you have to do and that's what you need to do to make them happy. It has to be their world, not your world anymore. So that's just one thing that we won't ever do is show or tell people how to get a monkey or go about getting a monkey. But we can go into a little bit of, of why we wanted them and whose dream it was and all those So let's go way, way, way back. So how long have me and you known each other? I was in the sixth grade, I think, before I knew what a woman was. <laughs> <laughs> and what yeah. happened then? I seen her. It was like a ray of sunlight shined down on her. <laughs> And I just well, chased her until she finally said she'd go out with me. So for real, we've known each other our whole lives, basically. Our families knew each other before we were even born, but we've always went to the same elementary school, same high school, same church, everything. We've just pretty much grew up together. But when he was in the sixth grade and I was in the eighth grade, that's when he started really getting the feelings. <laughs> I was, I'm the same age as her, but I was two grades below her because I was so smart. My teachers wanted to keep me in their class a couple times. So he he was a kind of a class clown, kind of, kind of nothing, but he was the class clown. It's in the yearbook. I really was. <laughs> He's proud of it. He was the class clown, and I was just the good girl that never got in trouble. I don't think I ever got in trouble in school. I actually have a picture of us that I'm gonna show right here with uh, us when we was in the sixth and eighth grade, where it was homecoming night, and he's taller, or I'm taller than him. And ever since then, that's just been when he's been trying to, <laughs> trying his best to make his way into my heart, I guess you could say. <laughs> it took much. But funny thing is, like even in church, he would write things on the bottom of his shoe. We sat across from each other in church. He would write things on the bottom of his shoe and it would make me laugh. And he would just be doing funny things all the time that made me laugh, which I'll see now that he does on the videos. But one thing we can always say as far as a marriage is make each other laugh and spend time with each other because that's two things that we've done. Not everybody I know spends time as much as, much time as we do with each other, but that has just, been something that we've always done and it's always worked for us. We spend almost every every day, every second, everything together, even since we were younger, always together and he's always made me laugh. So it's hard to be mad at somebody. It don't matter what you look like, <laughs> just make them laugh and give them what they want. <laughs> You'll have it made the rest of your life. Yeah, and by the way, if you are noticing this, it's not from the monkeys. I had some skin cancer places. I've had skin cancer places my whole life. I'm, I'm watching Rooster now so he don't bump my head. <laughs> But I've had some skin cancer places that I had biopsied yesterday there and then on top of my head. So I'm watching him to make sure he don't hit those or bump those also. So that's what that is. But back to how everything got started. It was my dream, of course, and Kevin makes all my dreams come true. 
voila, get you a Kevin, ladies. Yes. But anyway, seriously, he has always been one that always has always wanted to make me happy. He don't like for me to be mad, things like that. So get you one that cares about things like that too, is what I would suggest. We've been married for 26 years, 26 really long. good, <laughs> really, we say long, but it's we, we joke about that. We've been very blessed. We've loved our life, loved our marriage. We've been, God has blessed us very much over our lives. Things that we can't imagine have happened, has happened, just like this right here. No marriage is perfect. Of course, we get aggravated each other for the small things, but we rarely ever fought much. A lot of times when we were first married, we fought about hunting because he thought he wanted to go hunt all the time. So that was really our biggest fights in life was just him thinking that he could still run and gun doing his <laughs> hunting things. Uh, and he still does hunt a lot. So that's it never was about that. It was just that I wanted him to be home more with family and more with us and the kids. But like I say, that's, that's no longer an issue. It hasn't really ever been a big issue. It was just... When you're young, you got to work those little things out. I am the one that's always wanted the monkeys. Ever since I was little, I've always told my family that I was I was going to have a whole house full of animals. And I think they weren't sure it would ever be what it is today. <laughs> probably I could say that. But I probably never thought it would be what it is today either. 26 years ago, when we was having our wedding rehearsal the day before we got married, I had my coon dogs tied to the tailgate of the truck. And as soon as we got done with rehearsal, I went coon hunting. <laughs> I used to coon hunt every night. So we didn't have to worry about, I had to be home early. My curfew was like 10 or 10.30, I think at the latest. But he would bring me home, we'd go out on our dates, he would take me home and then he'd go coon hunting uh, and stay up another he didn't have a curfew, so he would stay up and go hunting, and whenever the dogs got done is when he would go home. And that's literally something he done every night of his life uh, up until we got married. Everybody asks what we do for a living and what we done for a living. So we've just really always worked really hard in our life. We've never had anything given to us. But he was a tile layer. We had our own tile business to where he would do the labor and build showers, custom showers, do floors commercial jobs, things like that with shower, any, anything tile-wise, floor-wise, backsplashes, things like that. Uh, and I was, I had a job, but I stayed home and raised the kids up until a certain point. And then I had a few odd and end jobs here along the way. But then I started helping him once the kids went to school. Sorry, I'm getting rooster. I started helping him once the kids were old enough and in school, I would go to work with him and do tile. So after a certain point, we also ended up starting to do golden doodles as far as our, our dogs. And we've been doing that since 2012. And that was getting to where it was a very successful business and took up a lot of our time. Something that I've always wanted to do though, also because we love dogs. We love all animals. When we had litters, I would stay at home and I would take care of all the dog stuff. When we didn't have litters, I would go with him and work and I would actually lay tile myself and go on jobs by myself and lay tile. So I, I put in work too and I was a hard worker too. Tile is no easy, easy job. It was been hard on his knees, but me and him have just always worked well together, thankfully, and, and enjoyed spending our time together, even if it was at work. It was always my dream to have monkeys. And like I say, of course, Kevin has always been one to make Anything I want or anything I want to do happen, he's just always been that way. We, I'm the same way with him, though. We're, we're really good with each other as far as doing that kind of thing. But I wanted the monkeys. Of course, he loves the monkeys as much as I do. But it's just one of them things where you kind of both got to be on the same page and want the same things that, in life. <laughs> Never in a million years did I think that this would actually be a reality. But I'm just one of these people, when I want something, I want it. And I just research and do the things that I need to do to get get there. So that's just, that's how we got to where we are today as far as who wanted what and how that all went. After years of him chasing me to where I, my dad told me I couldn't even say I had a boyfriend. <laughs> uh, finally, when I was 15 and he was, I guess he was 14. I, I was about to turn 16, something like that. But like I say, we're eight months apart as far as our ages. He, we started dating. And then when I turned 16, I could actually go out on a, on a real date. So that's when we started dating. We dated for 
five years. We got married on my 20th birthday, uh, which was September the 13th, back in 1997. And it was a great day and has been the greatest life ever since <laughs> Rooster Woodard. <laughs> I had been out of high school for four months when we got married. And? <laughs> Would you do it again? I'd have done it sooner if I know what I know now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we would have. I would have just quit school and just got married. <laughs> <laughs> but life's been fun ever since then. We do have three grown children. We have a, our oldest is a daughter, and then we have two sons. One of our, the youngest one is in the Air Force, uh, and he's deployed actually right now. So y'all may have heard us talking about that or saw that. We're very proud of them and the things that they're doing in their life. Our oldest daughter is the one that has our only grandchild, which is a grandson. That's Sutton McCoy, but she's the only one with a child. She does live local. The other two live off. And of course, Carter, he's deployed a lot. So he's in, stationed around in different places all the time. Our kids do love spending time with the monkeys. They enjoy them. All the animals, actually. They, they're animal lovers, too. It's hard to have grown up in a family like ours and not be an animal lover. And we hope that carries on throughout our family and throughout with, with the grandbaby. Now to the monkeys. So Rooster was our first little monkey, right there. Wave at everybody, Rooster. <laughs> Rooster was our first little monkey that came along, and ever since him, life has not ever been the same. It totally, it will never be the same. no, it'll never be the same again. Having monkeys totally changes everything about your life. It makes you to where you can't go out and do the things that you might have once done, which we're okay with that because we've done a lot early on in our life. So we, there's not anything that. We can say that we hadn't done that we wanted to do. Lucy's right there tired. Uh, but Rooster was our first, and that was about three years ago. Then a few months after that came along Bear, the little capuchin, and then Birdie, the other spider monkey. So all three of those was within the same year, just a few months apart. And it's one of them things to where we thought we was done, but then God had another plan. <laughs> so other little monkeys came along. First, I think we had, first, well, I don't think. First, we had Olivia, which was another capuchin, and everybody always tells us to get another capuchin for Bear, but Bear likes being the only capuchin, and we know this because we had another one that we was helping with for almost a year. Here you go. Sorry. Olivia was with us for, I think it was right out about nine, ten months, and we were helping friends. We were asked to take her because they were at a really busy spot in their life, and they made several trips once we had her, and we could just really tell they missed her, and so we asked them one day, you know, if y'all miss her, you know you can ha take her back because they had other monkeys that she grew up with, and they never would have asked or made us to give her back, but that's just something we thought was the right thing to do for Olivia and for them. So that's how Olivia was, came here and how she's no longer with us. Then it wasn't long after that that little Lucy, the little firecracker, came into our life, and she, her situation was a little bit different. She was not in the best of shape. It wasn't because of her family. She had a great family as well, but they were just very misinformed on how to take care of her. But thankfully they reached out to us and asked us to take her. And so we did, and that's been a, a big blessing. So again, we thought we was done after those four. And now, now we're up to this point in day and age to where we got asked less than a month ago, to take one more in, which along the way we've been asked to take other monkeys in, and we have we can't take every monkey in that, that we're asked to take in, although we would try to help or do what we can to help those people, but at some point we can't take them all in. And we've got to do do things and make the best decisions for our monkeys and our family, although we would like to help all animals. So y'all know with uh, with Bella, we was asked to take her in recently from a, a lady, a really nice family that is about to have health issues and can no longer give her the, the proper care that she needs to as far as being able to physically care for her the way that she could and the way that she needs to. So that's how Bella came. So all of the monkeys, three, our first original three was adopted, but even when I say adopted, even though I say that, they all needed homes. It doesn't matter. Once they're here, they need a place to go and we wanted to give them that place to live and a great home to be at. 
Again, we always tell people that we don't tell anyone where to go and get a monkey or how to go about getting a monkey. And that's just because it's, it's just a crazy lifestyle that not many people are gonna want to do, need to do, any, anything like that. It's just, I can't even explain. There's no, no amount of talking to people can explain to them. I'll tell people and then they still go out and do it. And then later on, those monkeys get rehomed. It's just something that they think they wanna do. And then once it comes down to it, it's, it's, I mean, it's not an easy life, no doubt. We don't want to be the reason that a lot of these monkeys get rehomed and need new homes for us thinking all this is fun and games and all that. Yes, the videos are cute, but there's so much that goes on behind the videos that y'all don't see. Y'all see some of it, but y'all don't see all the disasters, all the times that Bear opens the gate and demolishes the house. Y'all don't see all those things that we have, the things that we mentally have to do every day to live with monkeys. It's, it's just, it's kind of madness. <laughs> For us, we take our monkeys everywhere we go, literally. So if you, do, if you didn't choose to take your monkeys everywhere you go, pretty much the longest that you could leave them is, is in between diaper changes because they have to have their diaper changed about every three to four hours is what we do, just depending on what's going on. So that's the most that you could leave a monkey if you decided that that's something that you wanted to do. And honestly, they don't do well if they're caged for long periods of times. I know sometimes it's necessary to have them put to where you can cook and things like that. But for us, luckily we have these big rooms. We don't ever have, like y'all seen our, pretty much our whole house and we don't have cages. There's a bird cage in there for the bird where he sleeps, but we don't have cages for the monkeys. We just have these large playrooms and they're never isolated or caged away from us. And they have a lot of activity on a daily basis. If you work or have kids, things like that. Sometimes a lot of monkeys don't like kids. Bringing a monkey in your home and then finding out a year later that they're gonna bite your kid all the time. That's why some of them get rehomed. And that, again, that's a very uh, unfortunate thing for the family because everybody's attached. And it's just a sad process for the monkeys because it's not like other animals, they get very attached like humans, and it's hard on them to be rehomed. Anybody that tells you that this would be so fun and easy all the time, they're just wanting your money to sell you a monkey. They're <laughs> lying to you. <laughs> yeah, because not all of it's fun and games. It's, it's a lot of joy that y'all see, but like I say, it's a lot of hard, hard work too that goes along to get these monkeys to be the way they are, to get them to be loving and affectionate. It's not something that you can just flip a switch and they do like some people want to imply. Yeah, them in a cage for 20 hours a day and then film for a couple hours a day and then they act real good, that's not gonna happen. No, that's, that's something that's never gonna happen. So our goal for doing videos is never to promote anyone to go out and get a monkey. It's kind of the opposite. You should see how crazy our life is and say, huh. <laughs> yeah, let's just watch them and experience that and let's not go get one because my goodness, it's crazy. Craziness, craziness. So that's the, our goal for is just to spread joy and to bring laughter and love into the world. And hopefully that's what we're doing. One more thing real quick. All of our monkeys are fixed. Ours have been fixed since they were a year old. Bella is Bella here that's wanting me to pick her up. She's the only one that's not fixed and that's just because it's just, she's just came to us. But her surgery is actually scheduled for February the 7th and she will be having her surgery at that time too. So she will also be fixed. I would not, not have a monkey without having them fixed. Having them all fixed helps with a lot of things. Aggression being one of them, once, once they start maturing more, it helps with that. It also helps as far as the girls not having problems with having cancer later on in life. Just a lot of benefits to having them fixed at a younger age, in our opinion. We don't proclaim to be experts in anything that we do. It's just things that we're trying to do and make the best decisions for our monkeys personally. I know there's things that we wanted to say today that we probably left out. So be sure that you respond, comment, give us questions that y'all may want to see answered. We'll try to do more videos like this to where y'all get to watch the monkeys, but we're answering questions for you. So that way it helps get some of these questions answered that are in our comments on a daily basis. But this way y'all are getting to watch them and hear and kind of learn about our story and their story. So we hope y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all did, like I said, leave us a comment. Be sure to share, to, that way we can reach more people. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. We appreciate you all. Have a good day.